What is up, Jamly? This is JamiroFan2000 here with yet another episode of the Jamiroquai Minute, all the latest Jamiroquai news, episode 431, so let's get right into the news. In more rather interesting, but a little bit annoying, uh, here today, gone today, Jamiroquai news. Um, it was reported to me via the Jamiroquai subreddit by a fellow Jamiroquai fan up in uh, Canada that on the Spotify music listening service, uh, several Jamiroquai albums had disappeared. Now, this is not the first time Jamiroquai media, especially on YouTube and on music streaming, has disappeared. Um, you might remember a few Jamiroquai Minute episodes ago, I discussed that the j virtual Insanity music video, uh, Jamiroquai's music video that was on YouTube, uh, because of region locking, went and came back to the uh, video service. But now, in the case of Spotify, uh, you might remember a few Jamiroquai Minute episodes ago, I noted that there have been some major remodels on the artist page for Jamiroquai with the additions of Synchronize and a Funk Odyssey having the bonus tracks for both of those respective album eras, and the addition of all three of the recent 2013 remasters of Jamiroquai's first three albums. Emergency and Planet Earth, Return to Space Cowboy, and Traveling Out Moving. But as of last night, it appears that the two um, 2013 remasters for the first two Jamiroquai albums, Emergency and Planet Earth, Return to Space Cowboy, have disappeared off Spotify. Um, several fans in Canada have notified me via the Jamiroquai subreddit and a few on social media uh, asking if I've seen it. And I, I did check uh, Spotify USA, at least the free service, and it appears that those albums have disappeared. Now, a day later, here on September 28th. It appears that those two albums that I just um, pointed out have also disappeared from Google Play, respectively off Google Play and Apple iTunes, or otherwise known as Apple Music here in the United States. Now, I have reached out to several of the streaming services via Twitter, and uh, I might be putting up a post on my Instagram to try to coax one of the band members into possibly going in his own time to find out what the heck is going on. But uh, as for right now, there are some of the uh, albums that were just recently added or additionally, additionally added onto the Spotify Jamiroquai Audis page are still there. The, um, the extended, uh, or should I say the bonus track versions of the aforementioned um, synchronized and... Um, High Times is still there. The Synchronized with the bonus track is still there. And the Funk Odyssey with the separated bonus track, Oh So Good to Feel or So Real, are still on Spotify. As for those two 2013 remasters, I have not seen anything. I haven't seen the answers on social media yet. But this, of course, will be a developing story. So if more updates come forthcoming from any of the streaming services or from Jamiroquai Limited or any of the band members, I'll be sure to pass them on here at the Jamiroquai Minute. I know this is a bit annoying for a lot of Jamiroquai fans who are reluctant reliant on music streaming for their daily music listening or and don't have the luxury of owning the Jamiroquai music, either digital or physical, and can listen to it on demand. So as I said, um, it, if any updates come that uh, concerning these uh, recent disappearances of Jamiroquai albums via any of these uh, music streaming services, I'll be sure to pass them on here on the Jamiroquai Minute. And as always, this is Jamiroquai Fan 2000. I'll see you again really soon with another Jamiroquai Minute. Bye, everybody.